Well, we are celebrating our diversity in the Bay. And the second annual Feeding the Culture Weekend is back for Black History Month. Now, the event is about community, fun, and, of course, food. Yeah, and it kicks off tomorrow when Oakland chefs face off in the Shrimp and Grits Taste Off at Town Fair Cafe. So joining us right now is Chef Michelle McQueen to tell us more about the event. And good morning, Morning. How are you? There you are. Hi. We're doing great. Thank you so much for being here. You know, this is such a wonderful way of really making connections through our food. And of course, just that time we can spend together with family, friends, community over meals. And shrimp and grit sounds delicious. Tell us what we can expect. Yes, yes it's definitely delicious. And you can expect a weekend of three days of wonderful events. We have our shrimp and grits taste off on Friday which unfortunately is sold out. Mm. So it's definitely an event you don't want to miss next year. Uh, we have our wonderful Sankofa Supper on Saturday, which is in collaboration with three other restaurants here in Oakland and three wonderful chefs. We have Chef Nelson from Alamar, Chef Adiam from Mela Bistro, and Chef Juan from Parche. And we are representing the culinary side of the African diaspora from the South American side to the Caribbean, to the Ethiopian and myself, the American South. So that's going to be a wonderful event. And then the weekend concludes with our soulful brunch here at Town Fair. We have a wonderful soulful brunch. We have a live DJ. We have an omelet station. We have great homemade food. And the weekend is really about celebrating Black History Month through community, coming together, as a people, sharing good food, sharing wonderful stories, taking time out to truly just treasure this time and, and a little bit about our history. And food is such a big part of our culture, as it is in many cultures. This is the time when we come together, we're kicking off the month, we're doing it here at Town Fair, and we're just, we're going to really feed the culture. Well, and it's not just good food, but it's also a good cause. Can we talk about how some of the proceeds you're going to be giving back to the yes. community? Yes. So we are donating proceeds from all three of these events. It's a weekend of fundraising for the Kids First Foundation, which is a wonderful foundation. We take kids to on Black History tours four times a year. We take kids and let them experience not just uh, black history, but we take them to HBCUs, historic, historically black colleges and universities, and expose them to what it's like to go to a black college. I am a graduate of Howard University myself, and we do this for kids who cannot afford to go, who would never see this, have this experience. We take them through all kinds of museums and exhibits through the South, Martin Luther King's home, I, the Legacy Museum. It's such a rich culture, cultural experience for these children that this events, these events over the weekend are really gonna help pave the way for them. It sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. We just have a, about 30 seconds left. I, just as a request, do you guys ever put these recipes up online so people can maybe <laughs> learn how to cook this stuff and sort of you know bring the culture to their own homes and kind of share that with their family? Definitely, definitely. Well, if you come to the Sankofa <laughs> dinner, you will get a chance to experience some of that. I intend on sending people home with a little gift package of some spices, possibly my sweet potato hot sauce I'll be mm. making today. Some wonderful things. And yes, we will try and I will do my best to see if I can get some recipes online, get oh. the chefs to kick in some of their wonderful recipes. Chef Nelson is making a lamb with the peri peri sauce, guava and peri peri oh sauce. Gosh. I mean, it's just out of this world. Parche is making wonderful food. Uh, Chef Adiam is exposing us to the most delectable side of Ethiopian cuisine you could imagine. Um, so that is truly an event you do not want to miss. It is our elevated event for the weekend. We do try to make a little easier events for people to attend. We have different price ranges of things. But this Saturday is the San Copa Supper. It is also a tribute to a very good friend of mine who I lost to cancer two oh. years ago. Oh, well, that is yeah. a wonderful cause. Well, food and community all weekend in Oakland at the Feed the Culture Celebration. Thank you so much, Chef Michelle McQueen. We are officially hungry this morning. <laughs> yes, we are.